I stood in front of the full-length mirror, the image reflecting back seemed both foreign and fascinating. Honey, I love how girly and vulnerable you look in that leather skirt and the thigh high boots, she said with an excitement that was both genuine and slightly teasing. I had to admit, the outfit was something else, the skirt hugged my hips in a way I never knew fabric could, and the boots were snug, empowering yet oddly liberating. That's the outfit I want you wearing tomorrow when we meet my girlfriends for brunch. They are going to squeal when they see how I've turned you into my sissy boyfriend, she continued. A blush warmed my cheeks. It was a game we played, a little adventure in our otherwise standard lives. I was always a good sport, willing to step into whatever role she dreamt up, finding a piece of myself in each transformation. Tomorrow, I would be the topic of conversation among her friends, a bold statement of trust and playfulness in our relationship. The thought was terrifying, yet the look in her eyes, full of mischief and love, made every ounce of fear worth it. As I watched Mike, or Michelle as I playfully called him when he dressed up, he looked back at me through the mirror with a mix of trepidation and excitement. The way the light gray leather skirt contoured to her figure and the way the thigh-high boots accentuated her legs made her look stunningly vulnerable and feminine. Michelle, darling, I began my voice a mixture of affection and authority, you have no idea how much I adore seeing you embrace your softer side. That skirt, those boots, you're the very image of girlish charm. I clasped my hands together, a plan forming in my mind. This is exactly what I want you to wear tomorrow for brunch with the girls. They're going to be over the moon when they see how I've transformed my rugged Mike into my beautiful Michelle. It thrilled me, this game of ours, the way she trusted me enough to step out of her comfort zone. It wasn't just dress up, it was a display of trust, intimacy, and a little rebellion against norms. And Michelle, my dear sissy boyfriend, would be the center of attention, all while holding my hand, proud and a little nervous. This was our little secret delight, and I loved it. The cafe was buzzing with the late morning chatter when we arrived, Michelle's hand in mine. I could feel her tension, the gentle tremble that spoke volumes of her courage. As we approached my girlfriends, their faces lit up with surprise and curiosity. Everyone, this is Michelle, I said with a bright smile, feeling Michelle's grip tighten ever so slightly. The table went quiet for a moment, eyes wide, taking in her appearance, the gentle curve of her lips, the way her hair fell just right, and how the outfit hugged her with calculated precision. My friends exchanged glances, and then, almost collectively, their expressions softened into smiles. We didn't know you had a girlfriend, but we're thrilled to meet Michelle, one of them chimed, her voice warm and welcoming. As we sat down and conversation began to flow, I felt Michelle relax. I shared our little secret through a series of knowing glances and half-whispers, revealing that Michelle was indeed my partner Mike, embracing a side of him that was usually hidden away. The revelation was met with a mix of astonishment and giggles, but overall, there was acceptance. It's different, sure, but it's quite refreshing, another friend added, sipping her coffee. Michelle, or Mike, you're lucky to have someone who supports you in exploring all parts of yourself. The brunch stretched into hours as Michelle became more comfortable, contributing to conversations and laughing along. By the end of it, it was clear that Michelle had been accepted, not just as my sissy boyfriend but as a friend in her own right. And I, basking in the love and open-mindedness of my friends, felt an immense pride in Michelle. As our relationship evolved, so did the roles we explored. Michelle, my playful and seductive partner, embraced the persona of a sissy maid with a charming eagerness. The transformation was thrilling for both of us, a secret dance between who we were and who we could be. Each evening, she would dress up in her maid's outfit, a frilly apron wrapped around her waist, and a playful feather duster in hand. She'd serve dinner with a flirtatious smile, her eyes alight with the joy of our private role play. The kitchen would echo with our laughter, and the clink of cutlery was often accompanied by the soft swish of her skirt. After dinner, she'd insist on cleaning up, moving gracefully around the room, the very image of a devoted maid, while I'd lounge on the sofa, admiring her dedication and the lovely view. It was more than just a game, it was an exchange of trust and affection, wrapped in the guise of service and play. Later, as the evening wore on, Michelle would transform again, this time into a seductive and playful partner. The maid's attire would be replaced with something more intimate, more daring, as she became the embodiment of both vulnerability and allure. In these moments, Michelle wasn't just Mike in a dress, she was a part of us that existed nowhere else but between the walls of our home, a shared secret that bound us closer, a tender exploration of identity and desire. Our connection deepened, colored by the fabrics of fantasy and the undeniable reality of our love.